All right, it says we're live. There's a few folks in here already. Everything sounding okay? Can everybody hear us all right? Hello. Can you see us? Let's see uh, Survival LT, Survival LT, and Valerie Zern, the Angel Eyes, Baroness Machiavelli. And, all right. Valerie Zern, can everybody hear us? Is the audio okay? Everything sounds okay? I try to start the live streams a bit early if I can, uh, so I can um, make sure everything's working okay and uh, have a little chit chat with my peeps. That's you people. All right. Hey, Baroness, I'm glad. Thank you, Valerie. Please, uh, please, we need a green screen because. I don't know. Yeah, I had a weird day today, and I didn't clean it up, and uh, cleaned some of it up, but then I stopped. Yeah, uh, so third eye open, Pine Haven Homestead. Y'all got a new Polaris I saw. Very exciting. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah, we just cool. saw. We just looked at that. Yeah, we were just watching that for a second before we started our uh, our live stream. Didn't get a chance to comment or anything yet, but it's very cool. Uh, Pine Haven's in South Carolina. Valerie, uh, where are you from? Angel Eyes is uh, in Australia. Uh, Baroness is in Florida. Uh, let's see. Oh, Survival LT, Survival LT, where are you? Uh, you got curfews in Tampa and Miami? Oh, man. That's crazy. Pennsylvania. Good. Uh, the curfews. Elizabeth. Oh man, it's a crazy thing that's going on right now. Aren't it's they? awful. I think I have to. Delete. I was like oh, really yeah. enjoying TikTok, but I think I might be done with TikTok because I can't. I can't take it. Well, like, there's just so much, you know, going on with all that, and uh, good it's, evening, Missy. it's scary. And uh, hey, Missy uh, from Carterville, <laughs> Georgia. Uh, yeah, it's scary what's going on, and. Um, uh, I, I guess, but yeah, it's crazy is an understatement. I, don't I guess there's stuff happening even in Nashville, and there was stuff mm -hmm. in Lexington that was going on. So that's you know both pretty close to us. Um, but, I'd like uh, to be way off the radar yeah. even more, like because I I don't, I don't know. We're I, way yeah. I don't think anything's gonna like that's gonna happen here. But Rue is uh, superstitious. If I say something, she's like, "Don't say that. Don't I say that." I am very superstitious. We don't say the Q word. In the unit, so we're in the hospital. Cute. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> oh yeah, it's horrible. Oh, wow. you Six know. people were killed in Louisville. I think that's been in the news a couple of days ago. That was awful. Uh, I like uh, the like six people were shot, but the uh, mm -hmm. police didn't shoot anybody or something like that. I don't know. I only saw bits and pieces. And there I, martial law. Martial laws enacted in several places. To be honest, so I try to stay away from the news it. some uh, because uh, I was like obsessively watching it for a while, and then I like quit. It's been, I guess, you know, eight, ten years ago. Uh, but I guess it was the first time, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, President Obama was elected. But I was watching it. And, um, you know, I just got so depressed about things that were going on, you know, watching the news. And I decided I'm not going to watch it much. So, um, so our uh, big thumbs up on the way in. Let's learn how to get rich, <laughs> even if we can survive 2020. Love you. Uh, thank you, Homestead um, Aquarius. You're a pretty great guy. Uh, <laughs> if we can survive 2020. Uh, we're not going to get rich. So if y'all watch the video today about, uh, you know, making money on the homestead, uh, a new friend of mine that I made, I forget exactly where he is. Oh. He's, uh, he's up north. He chatted with me this morning and he said, uh, uh, you know, your face is hilarious. You've only got like, what, $200 or something there. I think it might have been almost 300. I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, we uh, uh, he's like, it, it's not much money. It's really we're, if you watch the video, there are like three levels. There's the first level where you're, you know, having a loss on the homestead where it costs you so much money. Have you watched that video yet? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I had issues today. Where it costs you money on the homestead, number one. And number two is that it's kind of a wash where you almost pay for everything on the homestead with homestead money. And then number three, you're actually making a profit on the homestead. And oh. we're... We're at about number two, you know, so, uh, yeah, I had a bit of money in my hands because I actually sold something in the last few days. But, uh, oh, man, we went to go. I meant to go get uh, uh, Steve Earle. Uh, but 
I didn't. I can't go get it. No, that's okay. Uh, Actually, no, I can't because his mom's in there, yeah. and she's not very nice. And she's I don't wanna, not bad. She's I don't want to stick my hand. She snipped at me a few times, but she actually hasn't bit me. Uh, yeah, um, no martial laws there in Florida. Uh, we have Baroness. You asked about our land for sale. We have thirteen one-acre lots that we're selling, and then one uh, nine-acre lot, or it's two four and a half acre lots. <laughs> it's a uh, bedtime. Yeah, Steve Earl. Uh, uh, he's the, the Steve Earl is the author of the song uh, Copperhead Road. Uh, so I thought that would be a good name. There's also a, a character in it called uh, John Lee Pettimore, uh, but uh, uh, John Lee Pettimore. But we, it was too hard for Rua to say that, so we didn't do that. I sent you, Baroness, uh, a message in Messenger from my own personal uh, Facebook account, uh, J. Daniel Walker, uh, if you want to. It's got some information about that, and I think I also included Papa's email address. So if uh, you know, he's the one who's kind of taking care of most of the you know, sales of the lots, if you want to email him and check that out, then uh, we'll certainly be glad to tell you about that. Uh, if you didn't get that, then get back with me, uh, Baroness, and we'll... Uh, we'll try to get you that information, but I sent you a couple links about that. Uh, not really, Baroness Machiavelli, not re really, just could not get off. It was around 3.45 a.m. here before I got to sleep and up again about 8.30 a.m., yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ohio Prepper, glad you're here. A daughter of states' rights, I'm glad you're here. Hey, uh, you won a, a giveaway from Brett and Cindy's uh, TN Living, didn't you? I think you and I both won. Uh uh, Ten dollar uh, gift cards tractor supply. That's cool. Yeah. Got some tractor so supply. check that out if you hadn't already. Uh, Daughter of states' rights. Yeah. I didn't know if you knew that or not. I hadn't emailed them yet, but uh, yeah. I didn't uh, know. So Ohio prepper, I guess you're from Ohio. <laughs> that was a joke. I, I figured you were. Uh, Good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. It's yeah. about time to get started. Yeah. Uh, but the topic was habits. Yeah. On uh, the homestead. Habits on the homestead. Uh, so uh, I think um, I just finished your apple pie. Uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, in order to make some things work on the homestead, sometimes it's good to get into habits. I've heard uh, before that you really, uh, an individual is a uh, compilation, is a. Uh, uh, makeup of their habits. That's what you are. You are your habits. Uh, so, um, you know, I think it's really good for you to have good habits on the homestead. I kind of wanted to walk you through some of the things that I do on the homestead nearly every day. Uh, and, you know, uh, and then uh, Rua, some of the things, the habits that she had. And, you know, if you had any you know questions or something like that, that'd or be habits good. that you'd like to develop. I would like to develop the not yelling at my children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Pine Haven Homestead, uh, Life on Beagle Road, uh, and you did one with us too. Uh, that'll probably help you out. They're a little bit big. They're like 10,000 subscribers. That's good. Uh, we are Ohio Prepper from Western Kentucky, around Paducah, Murray area. Uh, so, uh, uh, no, I haven't watched that yet. Uh, we've had a crazy day. We actually butchered a pig today. Uh, I've got some footage of that. So, no, we, so we went back to church for the first time today. Yeah. You know, like two months so it's been 11 weeks i think that we were out. so uh, i think we could have went back last week um uh, that'll never happen i still yell at my nieces and nephews it's hard uh, but, it is hard man well yelling is not really yeah. my you know my struggle as much it's you my know struggle. but uh i don't uh, do it all the time but we get frustrated uh my property is a lake uh, so yeah has it been raining up there uh but nice. Yeah, okay. uh, but yeah, we went back to church today. Uh, you know, we go to church regularly. Um, you know, but uh, we went to church today for the first time, and you know, getting four kids ready when it's not your routine anymore uh, is difficult. And they have uh, like farm, like farm clothes, and I had to go. The thrift stores haven't been open, and so I had to add did Walmart clothes. Yeah, and so and then we got back, and I went over to a friend's house who had uh, some rabbit cages. Uh, that they wanted to get rid of. It was just, I don't know if they're, they're kind of, they need some work, you know, on them, but, uh, you know, free is free. So I went and picked those up and, uh, and then we got back and, 
Uh, we got the pig butchered, and we're not very good at that yet. This was our first one that we've done. Uh, so, uh, um, anyway, churches aren't open there yet in July. But uh, we kind of veered from our habits today because it was, uh, you know, a, uh, um, it was a, uh, you want to Steve? You want to Steve Earl? You want to Steve Earl? I know. I need to get. I we need. We should have got him. We can go get him if you want. You want me to go get him real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him for a second. I'll be oh, right back. I'll run over there. Run fast. I mean, like actually run. <laughs> he just went to get Steve Earl. So, if you want to hang out with me, right here for just a second. Then can yes, we butchered a hog today. I wish I had a deep freezer. I we just put. We just put him in a, I don't know, he's in a cooler right now. And so it was pretty interesting. Uh, I know he went to get Steve Earl. And so, yeah, I feel awkward as a person at the moment, but that's okay. Um, anyway, but yes, I will say one of my habits, since we're talking about habits, I would like, I know it's a mom thing to not yell, but I don't know if people struggle with it, but they frustrate me and I want to be a good parent. And it's just like, ugh. and so it's frustrating. Their deep freezers are sold out all over the place. We have like a freezer that's up and down. So I guess it's a deep freezer, but we don't have one of the big ones. And so we, we did that today and it was interesting plucking his hair out and my kids saw him and saw it. So, but anyway, are you here? That was fast. I ran. Yay, you did run. <laughs> What did I miss you? Oh, I, oh. <laughs> there you are. So our pig that we butchered today was pretty small, uh, but <laughs> well, um, this was the first pig we butchered when we butchered today. Uh, but uh, I kind of <laughs> ran. <laughs> it was a yeah. I just want them to like listen. Uh, <laughs> do I get attached to them? The, you're talking about the pigs, right? The pigs, but then I said something about uh, want to lock my kids in the closet most days. They just frustrate me. They're very sweet, but I want them to listen to me, and they always don't. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, this one that we got, we actually got, what, he was, he, we've had him like two, a little over two years. Um, and um, uh, he was little. We got him. For free, somebody said, wow. uh, we went to check out some Cooney Coonies that somebody had. And they said, well, we've got these over here. You can have these if you want them. They were little. They were a little bit bigger than uh, Steve yeah, is. Yeah, this is Ralph and Penelope, two other pigs that we got. Yeah. So um, but uh, we raised them, and he had a good life. We enjoyed him. him, you know, but it was time. What kind of pig is this <coughs> person? Pig? He's Cooney. Um I, I was told he was Mangalitsa. That that uh, boar over there is part Mangalitsa. There, he's kind of hairy like a Mangalitsa. Um, yeah, the pig weighed 108 pounds before processing. Good, thank you, Nana. And uh, um, then just mini pigs. I don't know. They're gonna be pretty small. But uh, um, yeah, he's just. Uh, uh, and we've got Mangalitsa full stock Mangalitsas as well. But uh, yeah. It, he was two years old. He was full. Uh, you know, he was as big as he was going to get. He was full grown, so two and a half years old. Uh, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to <clears throat> want us to kill him at all. in a couple months ago, but he, you know, I was okay with it now. Well, he got out and uh, he was wandering on the property, which was fine with us. But then he wandered on the north side, very close to our neighbors, and you know, we try to keep farm back here and residential up there, and we didn't want to bother our neighbors, so. Um, uh, yeah, Steve Earl is going to be our mascot for the farm. Yeah, he's our our farm YouTube mascot. So And so uh, he is, he's still with his mom, son. Yeah, I'm going to make him a pet. But do you want to talk about habits? Yeah. Let's see, he's, I've been really working hard at making him where he, uh, you know, pigs don't like being held like this, usually. And they squeal all the time. Uh, but, um you know, I've been really working hard at, uh, you know, he says, I feel defeated people. Yeah. I'm trying to break his spirit. Uh, <laughs> so I listen. uh, this back here behind us is a giant schnauzer. Uh, but we also have, um, you know, a, uh, great, great Pyrenees. Oh, can you see? Yeah. He's a there giant he schnauzer. 
Uh, we're going to breed giant schnauzers too. Uh, Nana and Papa have a, um, have a giant schnauzer. I think she's bred. That'll be our first litter uh, that we have. Uh, but um, anyway, about habits. Um, let me tell you kind of what I do in a day and, and then, um, you know, work through some of those things and tell you about uh, habits to build. I get up first thing in the morning and a lot of times I'll go check on the rabbits uh, because uh, sometimes they'll knock their water bottles off uh, in the night and I want to make sure they have food and water. So I water them every uh, morning. Uh, I try to sleep in as long as I can. Uh, if, uh, you know, Rue is not working or the kids don't wake me up, I can maybe sleep in until seven. Uh, but <clears throat> if Rue is working, then I get up, uh, you know, by the time that she leaves for work on, uh, about five thirty or so. And, uh, no, 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 you're not. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, Maybe the closet thing is not a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to stay in the room at the moment. <laughs> I feel like we're okay together, but once you leave, once you leave, I'm like, there's crickets coming oh, yeah. out everywhere. Uh, yeah, uh, and then I feed, uh, you know, the, those, and I try to, you know, <laughs> you don't really see this unless you uh, YouTube some. Uh, but there's a whole lot of work involved in the editing and the video and all that stuff. And I think about that. Uh, and I also, um, I also try to answer every comment on YouTube. So I'll spend a lot of time in the morning and maybe a couple hours every morning, uh, you know, getting everything ready and answering comments and all that stuff. Uh, and then I'll feed the kids because they need some, uh, you know, help getting their You're breakfast sure. sometime. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I look for projects that need done on the farm. Uh, we've got a lot of things that we're trying to do. Some things I've put off, and some things I'm, you know, working on right now. No, they're homeschooled. Yeah, uh, they're homeschooled. Yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, in the afternoon, uh, you know, I I try to work on projects that need done. I usually in the afternoon I'll check on the pigs and take care of them, and check all the other critters over here to see what needs fed, uh, and you know. Uh, in the middle of all that is the projects that need to be done. Like I said, you know, garden, uh, today we kill the pig, um, you know, work on the house. We've got a lot of things uh, to do with it. Uh, but one of the habits that you have to get into if you are homesteading uh, is to, you know, do your rounds with your animals. We just had some guinea keats, uh, some guineas hatch as well. I've got a video that I'm working on with that. Uh, so I've got to check on them every day as well. Usually Nana takes care of all the fowl up at the pond. Uh, but I've got some right now. Little Feet Farm Homestead. Hey, Little Feet Farm Homestead. Oh, also, somebody said something about uh, the giant schnauzers. Yeah, I think uh, I think Toby, he's just now, uh, what I've read is about uh, giant schnauzers is they're puppies until they turn about two. And he'll turn two this summer. And he is watching all the time. He's looking around. He's, you know, he watches the kids. And he, I think that he would... I think that he would, uh, you know, uh, become all teeth and toenails if somebody did something to one of the kids. Yeah, I uh, agree. So I know uh, when children melt down or when we melt down, it's like we're pretty loud, too. So I wonder sometimes I'm like, what do our neighbors think? But then I, I shove it out of my brain as quick as I can. Well, I can hear other kids in the neighborhood, too. Have you I can, yes, I can. So I don't feel too bad about it. And it's not so bad as, you know, I mentioned in my more this morning's video or today's video about how our neighbors in California, we could touch their house from our house with a broom. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> they were very patient to us. Yeah, they were older. Our kids, uh, you know, squealed and screamed and you know made a mess and played with a water hose and did they all this did. stuff. And made they it. were really patient. With yeah, us. Uh, so uh, they were they were good neighbors. They you know, neighbors. they were really great neighbors. Uh, so um, here, you know, we've got all this space and there's always squealing and screaming and stuff going on. Uh, so your um, grandchildren live with you. Your granddaughter, where was it? Uh, Oh, Baroness's well. grandchild mm -hmm. uh, lives with you. Lives with him. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I've seen in your videos about your uh, uh, your sister uh, and your grandson. I think uh, Pitbull and Beagle Dog. She has ever texted uh, me, and she loves uh, kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, Pyrenees. You know, our Pyrenees. Uh, 
they just, you know, I've seen geese and other critters just stand right on top of them and they don't seem to care at all, you know. And our schnauzer, Nana Papa schnauzer up at the pond, you know, uh, I was pretty, uh, pretty good about that as well. Uh, yeah, this is our, this is the burl right here. Uh, Rue has got something that she does uh, that she started working on I'm here recently as well. Uh, you know, I don't know if any of you have ever done any studying. Sometimes mnemonic devices help you remember things, uh, you know, like uh, uh, the colors of a rainbow. What's the mnemonic device for that? Do you remember? Oh, Roy G. Biv. There you go. Red, orange, yellow, green, <laughs> blue, indigo, violet, right? Uh, yeah. So, yes, you can house train a pig. But I don't think we are going to house train him. We're going to keep him outside most of the time. We'll carry him in and around and stuff until he gets too big to do that. Uh, but I want to get him really friendly, and he'll probably just follow me around. Like I said, he's kind of our YouTube mascot. Uh, we should train him. You know, to uh, use the potty in the house. I don't really uh, want to. I don't either. That didn't work out with the cats. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, okay. ha we had the litter box for the cats. Uh, but now they're, you know, they come inside, but they just go outside to use the bathroom. Uh, you know, so... Um, but you can house train a pig. Yeah, uh, I sold bought, bought. I sold six of them, uh, and um, here just in the last few days. Uh, and uh, a few people told me they'd had them before, and that you can put like uh, corn husk litter uh, and or oat some litter? other or oat litter. Was it oat litter? I don't know. Uh, she told me it was something uh, like that. Anyway, you can do that corn husk litter, uh, and um, that they'll just take right to it. If you have them before like two months, yeah, you know, just show them where it is and they'll use the bathroom in there and it's easy to train them. And I've heard that they have the, they're smarter than dogs is what I've heard. They've got the emotional intelligence of a two or three year old, but we trained our cats uh, to use the litter box, but uh, then we decided that, uh, you know, they weren't using it. Yeah, and, I'm not uh, going to do it. So. Oh no. no I, I've seen them sold before about the teacup pigs, uh, but, uh, Didn't we see them? We were in at some, Trader's Mall in Paducah. Uh, yeah, they were region. like 230 bucks for a little pig. Yeah, I think they were Juliana, and these are part Juliana, or maybe the one that I've uh, that's about to pharaoh soon is part uh, Juliana. I've got uh, one girl and three boys. Uh, if you're talking about my uh, children, <laughs> pigs. <laughs> if you're talking about our pigs, I forget how many we have. We have uh, several pigs. We have yeah, we have two boars. I and have I no think, idea. I think I've got two or three barrows. Uh, I think only two. Uh, and then about, I don't know, seven uh, girls or eight uh, pig girls. But yeah. yeah, the cats go in and out. And then actually one of them is now a pretentious snob and only talks to our daughter. I don't know. I don't know. Were they closed, Daughter States Rights, Trader's Mall? Uh, we haven't gone there, you know, very much. It's really hard to shop at Trader's Mall when there's so many pretty cute things and stuff like that that the kids want to touch. It's too difficult. <laughs> so, if we do anything, we'll drop them off at Nana and Papa's and go on a date. Yeah, thank uh, you, Nana and Papa. And, uh, you know, but uh, I don't know if they're open or not yet. That's a you know big flea market. Uh, Daughter of State's Rice is in the area, uh, so that's a, a big. Yeah, you have to go. You have to go there childless because there's too many shiny things. You know, I, I mean, I can't blame them. I want to touch everything too. Rua does. You know. Like, Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. So I'm like, can we go? Yeah, let's go look, look at the knives or something. You know, at the flea market. That makes uh, sense that they would be closed. Yeah, because, they probably are. Yeah. Uh, they're, you know, just liability issues kind of thing. I think it's hard on business right now. You know, uh, well, in Kentucky, uh, uh, you know, our governor has all these rules and stuff that you have to follow. Uh, uh, really? Uh, you'd come to? Uh, yeah, that's really close to where we. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, you know, so. In that video of Nana and the Nana Nuggets, when I mentioned Piggly Wiggly, uh, that's right up next to, uh, you know, uh, to Trader's Mall. Uh, so are you meeting me? Because no, no. I just was doing my foot. Okay. Uh, you have one girl and three boys. You're talking about children, aren't you, Ohio Prepper? Not, yeah. Uh, <laughs> talking about kids, you good? <laughs> How come you're not rocking the Land Rover hipster homesteader look? <laughs> oh, that's another. Yeah, I was. I used to wear. I used to wear glasses. The hipster I glasses. I actually like to get my eyes like laced. So like January, I'm going to do a video on it soon about uh, you know the benefit of you know LASIK for prepping. Um, and we need to have me on there getting it done. But for last year, January. So it's been what? Uh, this is May. Uh, so it's been about 16 months or so. I got my eyes lasered. But I've wore contacts. Uh, since I was like 11, 12 years old and glasses for a few years before that. Uh, so 
I finally got them done. And I, I can see, you know, pretty well. Now, it was a little bit disappointing because I kind of halfway expected like bionic vision that I could be have like eagle eyes that I could see from a mile away, you know, a mouse from here, you know, across the field. But, no. uh, but I want it uh, done though. But I can see, oh, you know, I don't have nice. any problems. So beforehand, uh, I have, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, I've got, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, nearsighted. I was very nearsighted. If I wanted to read something, I had to put it, you know, like literally, you know, this far from my face. So I'm far sighted. You know, no, you're nearsighted too. You're just less nearsighted. Oh. Uh, you know, I had to put it like this far from my face oh, in order to read it, yeah. you know, like this. Uh, you know, I couldn't read if it was, you know, this far from my face at all. Uh, but I got my eyes lasered and it's been, you know, it was expensive, but uh, it worth was it. really uh, worth it, I think. Uh, oh. Six million dollar man eyes. <laughs> I would love it. Uh, you know, I, I think you, you can't go with false expectations, you know, but I paid extra for this, like, something called Contura or something like that. And, you know, you can get like 20, you know, 10 vision or something like that. And I was like, I am going to have bionic eyes. You know, it was going to be super exciting. <laughs> but that was part of my prepper plan. I've been wanting to do it for so long. Yeah. And, it's like uh, and Rue was like, no, it's surgery. You don't need like, to do that. Don't it's, do it. it's elective surgery. But, you know, I uh, finally like I want to do this. And, uh, you know, oddly enough, there was a group on uh, for it uh, and uh, I got the group on. And uh, anyway, it was really uh, it was really great. So I'm, I don't regret it at all. She always get thing. We do not uh, need them. I give them to charity to start it. Yeah. Uh, Mine just goes in the trash. Like what? I buy stuff from a thrift store and it goes, it, all the thrift store stuff gets thrown away most of the time. Oh, you're both. Oh, uh, you got north, near side and far sided. Uh, I think yeah. I did too. Well, the thing with the laser the surgery thing. is uh, that it's good. Uh, you know, you can see fine until you turn, you know, about 40, 50, oh. something like that. Uh, and then you've got to wear reading glasses because everybody's eyes, you have to start wearing reading glasses when you turn 40 or 50. So, uh, yeah, I think those places are closed here right now, too, I would guess, you know, because it's elective. But I don't know. I think ele no, elective stuff's back open now. Yeah, but this was in Tennessee. I, we, I got mine done in Tennessee. I don't know. Uh, about Tennessee. In Nashville. And I think they were a little bit more uh, open than it was in Kentucky. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, my glasses for reading. Uh, it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so if I didn't do that, I was going to, you know, there's a place that we've bought glasses before. I don't get anything for suggesting to you. It's called Zenny Optical uh, Ooh, and you Zinni can Optical. get glasses mm -hmm. for like, you know, $10 a pair, <laughs> uh, the complete pair of glasses. So I was going to get several, uh, uh, several this time. Yeah. I think the thrift stores are opening uh, back here, um, you know, uh, this next week. So I think Rue is going to go. I work though. I don't know. What? So. I was mentioning about the mnemonic devices for uh, for your habits on the homestead, and Rue has got a one. Are you willing to share your mnemonic device? Brett, it sounds really negative, but it's, I've been there, trying. So we went to the dentist last week, and she's like, uh, every time we go to the dentist, she's like, I don't want to go. They're going to tell I me. I hate the dentist. I'm they're going to tell me I'm go. bad. They're going to tell me yeah. to brush better, to floss better, and all that stuff. And uh, anyway, so after that, she said, I've got. I'm going to floss every day. So that's the F in her frets. I'm going to floss every day. And then she said, uh, what? I need to read and do homeschool. I do every so day. much better when I read every day. If I to read just a little bit. To myself, yeah, like for myself. If I read, you know, so, uh, so floss, read, and then I do so much better when I E. Uh, exercise. Exercise. Uh, you know what it is. I knew yeah. what it was too. Um, I was, I was just, uh, he was uh, testing me. Yeah. Yeah. So these mnemonic devices things really help. So she says, well, I've done, you know, I've got to do my frets today. I've got to do my frets, you know, uh, and the T. Well, I don't remember the T right now. Uh, uh, floss. Tidy. Reading. Tidy up. Reading, homeschool, exercise, tidy up. We and didn't stretch. do it. She didn't do the frets today. The tidy that, up. So that's another habit. I feel like you could work yourself to death on the homestead and as a nurse and as a homeschool mom and trying to exercise and lose weight. So. Yeah. I think I should have maybe rested a bit more well, today. I don't think I she, lost it. she's not really exercising to lose weight or anything like that. Uh, she's more exercising, uh, <laughs> you know, because it's good for it you. Is. And, My you know, background. When she uh, exercises and stretches every day, then, you know, she feels a whole lot better. So uh, whether or not, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, we're both at healthy weights kind of thing. Um, but anyway. Mm -hmm. I need a lot to uh, read a lot to relax. Oh yeah. Uh, reading right before bed. 
Um, you know, it's supposed to be really great for you. Uh, flap through, uh, have her PM me. Need to go send, uh, need to send grandma to you so you can both go shopping. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rua really likes going to thrift stores too, but Nana's better at it in a lot of ways because uh, Rua gets tired of digging through things. I do. Uh, I get exhausted digging through a bunch of stuff. And, uh, and. Uh, I don't mind as much anymore. And but Nana, you know. She uh, just can dig better. Yeah, Nana. Lo- but, too, you know, we've got so many things going on. Uh, it's that, bedtime. Hey, kiddos, I want you to go to bed, kiddos. Um, that we've got so many things going on. She wants to get back home, uh, or the kids are waiting, you know. But, uh, hey, kiddos, come on, oh, um, I don't mind digging in this stuff, but I want to get back home and spend time with my kids. And yes, I agree, man is older and more experienced, and uh, and you have, yeah, I agree. These children, but hey, the pig's not shaking anymore, so Steve it seems pretty comfortable. Yeah, we're trying to tame him up, uh, but we leave him back with his mom all the time uh, now as well. Uh, so you just saw the message. Okay, good. Uh, man is older and more experienced. <laughs> so anyway, you know, um, I don't know. Um, I think it's really great to develop this kind of routine, uh, you know, on your homestead and what you do. So uh, certain things, uh, you know, certain things to uh, to do every day and, you know, make sure you get it done every day. Uh, but, you know, we leave a big gap. There's only a few things right now that I'm, uh, you know, having to do every day. I've added since I started YouTube, uh, you know, the you know, few hours that I put into that every single day. Uh, but I leave a big gap in the center uh, for, you know, the projects that I've got to do because we've got so many projects that we've got going on. We've got some more stuff to do to our house. Last year, if you look behind me, this is whenever I did all of this uh, galvanized. Uh, yeah. uh, oh. Don't look too close. Uh, <laughs> is that in- and uh, that, window behind, that, that window behind me, it was, uh, you know, it was too, mm-hmm. no, it was much smaller. It wasn't two windows. Uh, it was no, much, much smaller. It's a tiny window. Uh, and now it's a slider. So uh, that we really like that. Uh, you know, but uh, anyway, um, we've got to start working on the house again, um, and we just—I'll probably do some videos about that soon. But uh, uh, he's scared. Yeah, he don't—he don't like it. Uh, I feel like he's calm now. I agree. Uh, he would. He'll, pr- he'll probably bite me if I rub his face too much. You know. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, all that stuff. So. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, you know, please, uh, you know, shoot those at me. I see one other Ohio prepper, you know, about homeschool. Um, you know, we, uh, we're alternating. We're alternating and we're trying to figure out more what we're doing with it. Uh, we were using uh, sunlight and I still use sunlight curriculum. Yeah, we were using that and, you know, just following it very closely, just following their routines they give us. It was all laid out for us. Uh, but now, uh, you know, we kind of skip around in it a bit. Uh, she still follows it, but doesn't follow it quite as, you know, religiously kind of thing. And I just ordered some games. Uh, he is soft, but he, he has, cor- I feel like coarse hair. He's soft, but well, it's coarse. It's, it's soft now, but his hair probably will be a little bit more, He's soft uh, now. you know, uh, coarse. Uh, yeah, it's uh, sunlight, it, but it's uh, S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, Christian based kind of thing. But they have another one if you, uh, you know, don't uh, want Christian education uh, for your kids. Uh, that's called Book Shark. And both of them, Book Shark and Sunlight, that's S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T. Uh, both of them uh, are very literature based. So it's very heavy on reading. And the premise behind it is that when you read to your kids, they're learning so much about, uh, you know, language and about grammar and syntax and about the world and how things work. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's it's really uh, it's really a wonderful thing. Uh, Rocky Hill, the pig's name is Steve Earl. Steve Earl. Hey, everybody that's here, there's 22 of you here. If all of you would hit that thumbs up button really quick, that would really there's help me out. There's 23 now. Hey, 23, if all of you hit that thumbs up button really quick, that would help me out. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, Book Shark is the one that's uh, not Christian based. Uh, you know, whether I think it's this, a lot of the same story. Yeah, it's just but, takes the Bible out. Yeah, so uh, Sunlight has a uh, you know, heavy part in reading the Bible, and it's got some uh, Christian biographies and stuff like that in there as well. 
Uh, so, which I've actually enjoyed. Re what was that one guy? Oh, I can't think of him. The he one that was deaf, uh, or that did the. The orphanage. Oh no no no! Uh, what was George, it? George um, Mueller. George Mueller is a very fascinating man. If you ever yeah, look him George up. George Mueller. You read about him. I did. Uh, he yeah. did all these orphanages. Yeah. It's cool. Well, I've done. I've helped a little bit. I read a bit about it. I think, but uh, you know. I'd do some of it, and then uh, you know she uh, didn't I like know. the way I did it, or she like I like doing this. I don't want you to take this away. Uh, I'm pretty. So. I want to do the homeschool. I like doing the homeschool. I like reading to them, and I get really upset if anyone's gonna mess with that. So, <laughs> so when we first moved here, and that we, was the plan. our agreement was whoever got a job first was gonna be the one to work outside the home, and we decided that if we could. Uh, that, uh, you know, as long as we possibly can, somebody's going to stay at home, you know, of the parents is going to stay at home with the, our kids. Now, not everybody can do that, uh, but, uh, you know, we were very fortunate and, you know, made some good, uh, you know, choices and uh, been very blessed. Which is uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, made some good choices yeah. and we've been very blessed. So, yeah. a lot of, you know, good luck and blessings and, uh, you know, good choices at the same time. But anyway, um, uh, she got a job first and I said, well, I'll do homeschool. And she said, you're not doing homeschool over my dead body. You're doing homeschool. And then she'd go waffle back and forth and said, you just do homeschool. Hey, kids hate me anyway. It's hard sometimes teaching, you know, the kids, your own kids, especially. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, and then she takes it back and we went back and forth. But now she's pretty set on doing it herself. Uh, yeah, That's it does. That's my thing with them. Uh, how are your how are your watch hours? I have no, I don't. Did somebody ask? Yeah, Angel well, did. Uh, I don't. I'm not really sure, and uh, and be honest with you, Angel Eyes, what's happening? Uh, because uh, some of the videos uh, we've been like stopping and starting the live streams, they are still processing. Even one from like a week ago, they're pro processing. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's happening. They there for about three days. It didn't move at all. And I think that what might have happened was that we were being. Um, What's uh, they were you know investigating? They were checking us out uh, uh, because they've got to do that to see what you do before you monetize. But I, I don't know. They're about uh, they were at like thirty one hundred this morning. Uh, so um, you know uh, if y'all want to you know keep watching the uh, uh, the live stream or maybe even better uh, when you're not watching it, to put it on the, uh, uh, the all videos playlist and loop it. Uh, you know. Uh, but it's going to happen. I'm not worried about it. I'm not stressing over it. It'll happen when it happens, uh, you know, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. doesn't but, yeah. you know, um, yeah, we're just I'm enjoying doing it. Uh, it is a lot of work, uh, but uh, I'm enjoying sharing with you. And it kind of one of the good things that I should mention about the routine is that it forces me whenever I'm doing YouTube, it forces me to get one thing done every single day. You know, so every single day I've got to find something that I'm going to you know, shoot and film and explain and show to you. And that's a really great thing. Hopefully uh, we'll be doing a you, bathroom remodel <laughs> and a laundry room remodel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we need to work on uh, the laundry room and the bathroom and uh, the kids are all in one bedroom right now, which I like it uh, that way, but she kind of wants to separate them. We've got another room, but um, uh, we just got, that's cool. Teeny, tiny home. Is takes a little time for the bot to process it. Uh, yeah, I noticed on yours that you, uh, you know, I went and watched one of your videos earlier and uh, that you had ads on there. Congratulations on that. Uh, uh, but you want to see our, uh, our our remodels? Okay, we'll, uh, we'll try to work on that for you. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's ugly, you know, when we pull it out, all that stuff. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not much of a I'm not much of a carpenter. I'm just trying to figure it. But I think that's what homesteading is in a lot of ways. You know, just trying to figure some things out on your own and just trying to you know work on it and uh, and you know self sufficiency kind of thing. Um, so, all right, what do you think? I think Steve's nice. He looks like he's falling asleep you, you now. See, see him? He looks like he's asleep. You see. Don't poke him in the eye. <laughs> uh, uh, you to be rolling in the penny soon. Uh, <laughs> Why did it say it was health review? Because they it checks them sometimes, oh. make sure that it's uh, you know whatnot. But hey, Wash Farms, uh, you just caught us. We're about to you know finish everything out. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, we really appreciate you guys. Uh, we're learning a lot. Uh, enjoy sharing. Enjoy this community. 
uh, you know, uh, keep checking us out. If there's any questions that you, uh, you know, you, you have for us, shoot those to us anytime. And uh, we, uh, do you like these live streams like this on Sunday nights? It's, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, then, uh, you know, let me know and keep coming to it. I guess you can vote with your feet. Uh, but uh, right now we're doing that. Let me hold them closer. So you yeah, it just will. <laughs> no pictures, please, he says. I feel like he looks humiliated. <laughs> he looks huge that way, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, this see. Is, this is humiliating. This is, this is too much. <laughs> oh, man. He's, yeah, he's pretty cute. They're pretty cute, aren't they? He's, he's pretty quiet. And, uh, you know, see those eyelashes? Aren't those cute? You didn't me <laughs> All right. You didn't me we got to go. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye. Don't trouble me up.